Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys, boys and girls, last week we um, drew this lovely still life using cool and warm colours and um, using lines to create an optical illusion. And I saw a few of your work, but I would love to see the rest of your work, boys and girls. It would be very good to see how well you all are progressing. This week, boys and girls, we are going to do a sunset silhouette. So let's get started. First of all, we'll get a paper like that or our drawing book and we'll turn to a clean page and then we will get our paints out like like this and we're gonna put in our colors so for this sunset silhouette boys and girls i'm going to also need a palette like this um because we're going to be using a wide paintbrush like this one so that we will be able to paint a wide area um, so that would make it easier for us and for blending purposes so i'm going to have this palette there and I'm going to begin with one of the primary colors down below. So we always start, when we're doing a sunset, we start with the darkest color first. So we're going to put the a blue shade going on the edge there. So I'm going to um, add some blue like this. Actually, I'll put it to my palette and then I'll take it out from the palette and bring it to my... So what I'm going to do, what I want to do, boys and girls, I want to mix up my blue. Let me just get some more water there, boys and girls. And what I want to do, I want to put, like, I want it to have, like, um, dark blue and a light blue. So I'm going to take some dark blue here and I'm going to go ahead. Can you see the paintbrush? So you can see some light, a lighter blue here and the dark. So I use some water and then I'm going to um, apply that to my paper. So we're going to start from one side and we're just going to go straight across like this. Very good, boys and girls. And then we're going to do it again. So we're going to um, add do the same thing on our paintbrush. So so divide your paintbrush light and dark. So we're going and as we're getting closer to the center, the the colors are going to get lighter. So we're going to go side to side like that in one brush stroke like that good and um, maybe just using our lighter side we can just paint this going like that and the same for this side like that okay so we're just going to just smooth it out a little bit i turned my brush around so that the dark is more at the bottom like that so we're trying to get a transition so the next color i'm going to get to put on my paintbrush is the red i'm going to wash my paintbrush add a little bit of red and i'm still going to add more water again and then i'm going to try to mix it going to add our red right here and then we're going to go 
I'm going to add more water, but I don't, it's going to be a mess, so I'm just going to wet it a little bit more like that. And then we're going to go like this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, like that. No, nope, we've got to add some more. Um, we're going to add some just a little water there and add some more red here. Try it now. Red. Mm. So we're going to try to mix it nicely so that it blends in nicely with the blue and it makes a nice purple color. Let's do the same thing this way. Mix it with the blue to get a lovely purple tone. And then towards the middle of the we're of the painting we're going to paint it in a lovely bright yellow color so we're going to add some yellow like that okay and then we're going to apply some yellow to the brush like that and this time we're going to just it's just going to be yellow like that so we just add the yellow in the center and we just move it and blend it in with the other colors. Let's get some more yellow because it looks a little bit too um, light. Just a little bit more of that yellow. All right, boys and girls. And then we're going to let that dry and then uh, we're gonna continue. So boys and girls, it's lovely and dry now. So I'm going to add um, a, a white uh, circle close to the center of the painting. So I'm going to get the white out. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white right there. And I'm going to put it in the center of the drawing. I want to add a little bit of yellow as well to it because um, I want to just intensify the middle part there like that. I'm just, I just want to add a little bit of a deep yellow like that. So um, I'm going to use the nice wide paintbrush to just spread it out like that. Just spread it out. This is a very good paintbrush to just spread out the paint like that, all right? So that when it dries, it's gonna dry a little um, deep yellow. So boys and girls, it's fully dried. I added a deeper yellow so just to emphasize the sun setting. So I'm gonna wash my paintbrush and I'm going to add a white, dip my white to show uh, the sun so I'm just going to put a lot of layer here like that add some more so that it's nice and thick and then I'm going to draw some lines coming out of the sun going blending out into the reflecting in the sea so we're just gonna have like that and it's just reflecting like that so we get some reflection of the sun like that okay and i also want to draw uh we're looking at the at the um we're on the the tail of Co right at the end scott's head and we're looking inland and usually you can see the land so i'm just going to draw a view looking from scott's head into dominica inland and i'm going to use uh let's look at the um complementary color of yellow purple so i'm going to get some purple here going to mix it up 
going to activate it with some water and uh, I'm just going to use some purple here just to um, create I maybe want it to be a bit deeper let me just I'm not using the wide brush anymore. Uh, no more. I'm going to be using my um, round brush, my with a tip. So I'm going to use some blue, and I'm going to add it right here uh, to the purple to create. A, so we're going to have it's usually something like that. We're going to see. We're going to have an island coming down like this, like that. And we're going to have, I'm going to add some black to this because a silhouette is actually um, you using black. So this is a shade of purple right now. We use black um, to paint um, and we're going to just draw a line going down like this and another line like this all right just to show that that's la that's land down here and i'm going to get my black but let me let that dry because if i add and oh, this the black paint to it it's going to cause it to run we don't want that to happen so let's let that dry we might give it another coat before i move on to drawing the and you can make it uneven like that to show that uh, it's land. All right, so we have it like that. Okay, boys and girls, so this is all dry. And I noticed that uh, the line that I added, the, the like the, um, the sun reflecting on the sea here, it's a bit too much white. So I'm going to go back in it. And we're going to add just patches of color here and there just to accentuate that there are dark patches and light patches in the sea in the reflection of the light in the sea so we're just going to do that all right boys and girls and you can just do that going all the way um, down our image we'll wash our paintbrush and then we're going to do this all the way to the end here. there we go boys and girls there we have it. it's nice and dry so we're gonna add the last part which is the a coconut tree, image of the coconut tree and we're going to draw the coconut coming from this side of the um, frame of our painting so we're coming this way coming out like then we're stopping here and we're gonna have the um, the leaves of the the tree the coconut tree coming out here so we're going to wipe our paintbrush. We've washed it already. We wipe it now and we're going to add black. So we want it the blackest because with silhouette, it needs to be black. And we're going to draw a line going, coming in like this. And we're going to stop right just above the sun like that. Going to do it again. We're going to have the tree coming in like that. And then we're going to just stop right at the end like that. We're going to try to make it as, uh, uh, or, uh, organic as possible. Um, so we're going to go down like this, bring it down a little bit. Like that. Try to make your lines not so wobbly like mine. <laughs> That's because of the the warped paper through the pa the wet paint. So let's try to keep it the lines as straight as possible. I'm going to try it. Sometimes it is a challenge. I'm going to turn the paper the other way so that I can draw my lines. A little bit somewhat not so wobbly so I'm going to go down from down here good like that 
I'm going to continue this line going like that try to do it as best we can so that we can create uh, a nice silhouette of the, of the coconut tree all right and um, just to emphasize how lucky we are we have a beautiful gem island dominator god created this beautiful gem island and you know i think we have a lot to be thankful for and the sunsets are beautiful we're gonna put some coconuts so i'm gonna draw one two and I'm going to draw a third one right here, like that. All right. So it's a cluster of coconuts, making that one a little bit bigger. And the other one is a little further away, so it will be a little smaller. And then we're going to draw um, the leaves. So we're going to draw... Uh, one leaf going down here like that i'm gonna draw another one make it a bit bigger here another one here another one coming out here like that another one like that and then we're going to draw the palm leaves going like that. Another one going down like this. Okay, just try to have it you can get finer lines then we need a finer paintbrush but I can do that when I'm just let me just add the because the, the the warping of the paper is causing me not to have lovely fine lines as I want and uh, lastly this goes down here like that and you can actually have it going down on both sides like One, two, can go on the other end like that. All right. Uh, Boys and girls, um, I'm gonna tempted to put another one right here, and I am going to do it. All right, to give it a little emphasis on the right, so we can make the coconuts a bit bigger. Like that. Good. Make our coconuts be known. All right. So. So there we are, boys and girls. Uh, our lovely coconut tree silhouettes on the glimmering sun setting island of Dominica. 
beautiful paradise island boys and girls it's just amazing a lovely gem a beautiful gift from God I would say and um, boys and girls I can't wait to see yours so please um, share with me show me your work when you've done and some of you all I haven't seen your work for the year yet so it would be nice to surprise me next week with some of your work so boys and girls there you have it a lovely um, sunset and the silhouette of a coconut tree just bending lazily over uh, gazing the sunset of our beautiful paradise island Dominica so I can't wait to see yours so uh, see you in the next video boys and girls bye so boys and girls here you have it and I used a finer paintbrush for me to get the details in the leaves a finer paintbrush to get the details in the leaves and so that I can be happy with um, the details and it can look more like palm leaves okay there you go And you see the lovely transitioning of the colors in the sky and in the sea.